Hey. Hi. Victoria. Yes, Frank. Happy day. Yes, it's going to be a good one. Oh my God. It's Friday. <laughs> now, yes. welcome to today's show. This is episode number Three, 310. Oh, and 10. Yes. That's right. Three of the Feel It Real Fun show with TT and V, Neville Goddard. Timeless yes. Wisdom of the Ages, yes. reader emails, oh yes. my god, <laughs> and Yasmin got the prize. Then so did Bob. Bob. Brisket Bob. Bob. Hello, Brisket Julie. Bob. Ju downtown. That's Julie Farrell. Sorry. Uh, yeah. uh, I can't think of anything Joe that rhymes me. with Farrell. Farrell. Uh, <laughs> She's just Farrell. 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 You're Farrell, Julie. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yes. Peter Hello, has Randall. joined. Hello. Hi, has joined. What a lovely Barbara, day for the show. Yes, We're going to cover Hello, stuff Leah. you might or might not know. Hmm. That's Angela. right. Oh, yeah. Angela has joined as well. <laughs> and Joe without an E, I heard you say that. Yes. Barbara with an A. Barbara with a couple A's. Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Laurel has joined. Peter, yes. nice to see you. What a lovely day. Mm. So, ah, look at that. Karen's joined. This is just wonderful. That's right. You're getting seasick? Or <laughs> Me? <laughs> yeah, wonderful. <laughs> no, no, I was just bending my legs. Sorry, oh, Karen. Right. Oh, yeah. Lori uh, has joined us. Barbara well, Brown. Barbara Brown. Down. You must sort of like downtown with Barbara Brown. That's right. So we've got, got Barbara Down, down and Pauline, Brown. Pauline Brown. This is good. And Kirsten <laughs> Bye, yeah, has joined. Okay, so All what right. have we got today? So let's, we should start with our housekeeping. <laughs> yes. Go to freenevel.com. That's right. There's a lot of stuff there, guys. There's over 1,500 resources there now. That's right. There's a search box. Mm. <laughs> It's really yeah, freaking toolbox. handy, guys. And a toolbox tool. You can Ace go to nevillegoddardstoolbox.com yeah. for a shortcut. Yeah. Easymanifestingmethods.com is a good place to go. And you know where to go find the Feel It Real Fun show. Mm. All right. So, shall we begin, Victoria? Yes, we shall. All right. So, we have a reader email. Yes. Neville Goddard quote. Yes. Timeless Wisdom of the email. Ages. Excellent. And we love when this happens. From Donna. I'll That's... read the reader email then. <laughs> I wish I could sing that song from Hair about Donna. Looking for Donna, baby. Da, 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 da. Right? Remember that? No. Anybody? No. Oh, it was Sorry, a good one. A bit bright, that light from the iPad. Oh. Must be too cold outside. Well, it's Bruce is working yeah, Bruce out is what outside. it's like because they were going absolutely ridiculous inside. That's right. So Bruce <laughs> is out there guarding his ball. Five on it. All right. Okay, so the, uh, the reader email from Donna says, I understand that you, nor Neville, are fans of affirmations for programming or reprogramming subconscious. No, but how do you deal with beliefs that may be in your subconscious blocking your blessings? <clears throat> For instance, if you're wanting to generate wealth, yet have underlying beliefs that it takes a lot of hard work to earn or make money. Boom, boom, boom. All right. All right. By the way, that was me. My dad was a hard worker. Oh, right. and mine. Oh, yeah. And you yep. know, he had to work hard. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. So when I, when I decided I was going to be a black belt in Kempo Karate, you know what I did? Yes, you I, worked hard. I worked hard. I worked <laughs> out, you know, 8, 10, 12 hours a day, you know. I skipped little bits in school every day. Last 10 minutes, first 10 minutes of almost every class. Yeah. About 4 in the morning, went to bed at, like, uh, close to midnight. I mean, I was wow. obsessed. Wow. Right? And, yeah. I, and I got good, right? I mean, I had a ripper body. <laughs> So that was feral. <laughs> hi Jess. So hi Jess. Jess? Yeah. That's Jess. Cool. So, long story short, I don't do that now. <clears throat> uh, mm. I do like little five minutes here, five minutes there. I wiggle into bits. I find stuff. Mm. Uh, I'm having a lot more fun, and it's also how I make money. Lots of little wiggling into bits and yeah. doing things, right? So mm. uh, we keep it fast and fun. Yeah. So. The, so. What happened to the subconscious underlying beliefs? Oh, my God. Well, you know what? I was doing affirmations about affirmations the other day. You were doing affirmations about affirmations. Oh, yeah. So, so I figured right. what I could do. Might as well have some fun with this, right? Yeah. So I could go, uh, I believe that affirmations work. Right. I believe affirmations work. And if I do that long enough, right? Or I could skip all that. Mm. So Neville says some things. Ah, Victoria? Yes. One day a friend told me that when she was a child, her father would say, if you have but a dollar and it was necessary to spend it, do so as if it were a dry leaf and you the owner of a boundless forest. I remember this quote. We've I done know this you love times. this one. That's why yeah. I decided to read it to you. <laughs> if one really knows how to pray, he could spend his dollar then reproduce it again. You see, this world is brought into being by man's imagination, so it is very important to learn the secret of prayer. Ooh, I just love that one. 
So notice, Neville didn't all that often talk about subconscious, unconscious kind of things. He did a little bit in one or two of his books kind of things, and every now and then it shows up. But uh, what did Neville say? Move. The state in which you must continuously return to is your dwelling place. Yeah. And a state has its bundle of beliefs and actions and reactions and behaviors. So, like, <clears throat> loving husband has some beliefs. Mm. Ah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. So, so does loving puppy dad. So does uh, BMW owner, right? Mm. I, I, aftermarket parts do not go in my car. Right? Yeah. You get it? <laughs> I don't just have a BMW that I keep you know, rolled up with duct tape. Non-BMW parts do not touch my car. Get it? So, boom. Victoria? Yes. What are your thoughts? What do you think? Uh, well, I just saw how Julie said she was never a big fan of affirmations. And I wasn't. I. It's like I would do them and before pre-Neville, but I don't know. <laughs> Didn't really feel anything. I mean, I even wrote the check. You know, I can't oh, yeah, remember yeah, yeah. who said that. Write yourself a yeah. check for a million bucks. Stick it up on your bed head right, so look you at see it every, it every day. night. That's right. <laughs> I was just like... What? <laughs> so, yeah. If you impress your... You know, notice that there's there's something in there when people talk about impressing the subconscious. By the way, Neville had talked about Millikan using uh, I have a steady and lavish dependable income, yada, yada, yada. What most people don't know about that story is Millikan locked himself in a room for like 12 hours and pretty much had a nervous breakdown hmm. to accept that into his subconscious, right? For, versus... Right. Because right? Millikan's model was pretty darn complicated. And but, what, then he got it? Uh, then he started producing decent income. Right. Right. But yes, Neville sat at the phone. His buddy needed a uh, quarter of a million dollars. Yeah. And Neville sat at the phone until he was convinced it was done, and it was done. Mm -hmm. Not long. Ten, fifteen minutes. Yeah. Right. Boom. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's hard ways to do these things, and there's easy ways to do these things. So, Victoria. Yeah. Since you're not saying much on today's show, oh. and I believe oh. there's meaning to this. Yes. Right? Because obviously you're. You're, you're having you're dealing with your subconscious oh, about right. men Hi, Virginia. or me or yes. shows or yeah. puppies or balls or yeah, something. Well, I don't right? know where the other puppy is. So what I need you to do okay, pay, yes. pay attention, Sorry. Victoria. Yes. Right. This is the problem that her subconscious mind has her all over the place. Yep. Now, I need you to go to the kitchen or the pantry or the boot of the car. Well, or the cottage. I'm glad you asked. <laughs> I need you to go get me one quarter pound of subconscious beliefs <laughs> yeah and is there anything else i need yeah i need a quarter pound of subconscious beliefs right uh, so we're da, saying da, da, da. how it's not really a thing whoa hold on <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's not really a thing yeah i can't get you a quarter pound of subconscious okay, beliefs well, well maybe it's a weightless thing can well, you get me a couple inches of it right Centimeters, a couple centimeters, right? That reminds me of a joke when we were at the garage. Yes. <laughs> when we owned the garage, and um, the head mechanic told the apprentice to go into the storeroom and, and find me a long weight. And so he went in, and he's a long way. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. And he fell for it, and he falls for it once. That's <laughs> okay. right, you only fall yes. for it once. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, so. Yeah. Find you a little bit yeah, of, you, of weight. You, you go, go get the keys. Right? You find me at least four ounces or four yeah. inches of subconscious beliefs. Four inches. Yes. <laughs> right? I don't know who would I, they fit in my head. <laughs> so, so a subconscious belief, yeah. right, that we have to keep impressing upon, right, yeah. doesn't exist. So it's a state, or it's part of a state. A state has its own bundle of beliefs and all that good stuff, right? Mm. And so if you change state, all that stuff changes. Get it? By the way, loving husband has no beliefs about dogs. Hmm. None. Right? Loving husband does not have any beliefs about puppies. Loving puppy dad does. Okay, loving teacher yeah, has no beliefs about BMWs. Right? Right. You get it? Every state you have is its own bundle of it's beliefs. Hmm. And when you get that, it's like, right, you know, I, I don't have to, you know, you bump into that. You can just go beyond that. Hmm. That's cool. How's that? Yes. So what's Angela got there? Hmm. With revising, how long does it take to manifest? In general at least. <laughs> uh could we we've revised things and had them show up immediately. Hmm. Uh we explored that I think in Manifesting Mastery when we we're on the Mud Brick Tour. Right, so we're the next people in line, and the ladies yeah. have a discussion. The supervisor says, no more tickets, yeah. right? Anybody that does not have reservations who is already prepaid 
no tickets. Yeah. Okay. I'm imagining hearing you guys have fun. Yeah. Right. Something Here's like your that. Tickets. Here's your tickets. You guys have fun. Yeah. And we woke up and the lady goes, uh oh. <laughs> yeah. Hey, how you doing? You. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We had a little discussion. She goes, yeah, yeah. You guys live in a muddy, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're here for the tour. So are you, do you have reservations now? <laughs> Did you prepay now? <laughs> yeah. But we have money. Uh, <clears throat> and she scrambled and she found us tickets. Huh. Right. Now, it's this is what's cool because we we could have just gone well no tickets turn around and walk away. Yeah. Okay, and we've had things take months, years. It took me a couple of years to become a citizen, but it happened like two years ahead of schedule. Hmm. So how, how long does it ha take before anything happens? The thing is, consciousness is the only reality. So uh, if we were going to have pizza for dinner. Why not? Okay, <laughs> I'd be enjoying it now. Yeah. Because I'd move into e eating the pizza. Right now. I, you know, right? You notice my body respond to it? And so I'm eating pizza now. I've already, you know, you to, in order to order a pizza, you have to go, oh, yeah, mm, pizza, right? And then my body will move and order pizza as long as I stay in that state. Odds are it's not going to stay in that state <laughs> because <laughs> we made Victoria go find things, a quarter inch of subconscious beliefs or something. Four inches. So, boom. My wife and I were married by Australian pastors. Cool. Uh, I heard boot bo and bonnet all the time. That's right. <laughs> Hi Judith, you just Judith has when just joined this show. Yasmin's having pizza for dinner. Wow. <laughs> right. Yeah, Virginia says it will flower. What's the saying? Yeah, yeah, it will flower. It will not be late. That's the cool thing, right? Hmm. Yeah, just uh, you move into the state of your wish fulfilled, it will flower because it already has in consciousness. Yeah. You get it? Yeah. Cool. <clears throat> so, Victoria. Yes. Do we want to add anything into today's show? Um, beyond what we've disgusted we've discussed disgusted we disgusted this <laughs> yeah do we do uh, i don't think so i don't know has anyone else got so mm -hmm. oh yes we answered virginia mm -hmm. angela what's engaging says hoot also or england, not england says england says boot a boot yes <laughs> wow yeah, because... i can't see that screen uh, so <laughs> Yes. I will close with another Neville Goddard quote. God, we got to do something about that light next time. Yeah. Your dimensionally, your dimensionally larger self speaks to you through the language of desire. Oh, get how cool this is. Do not deceive yourself. Knowing what you want, claim you already have it. For it is your father's good pleasure to give it to you and what you desire and that you that. have. Yeah. Now, you don't claim it by talking about it. You claim it by moving into it. You stop desiring it and you assume it already is. Yeah. So, boom. Cool. Victoria, shall we close down the show? Yes, we shall. All oh, right. Visit us at freeneville.com. Oh, yeah. He's moved from the door. I thought <laughs> we were going to be able to show you a shot of Emma, but probably the camera's wrong anyway. Visit us at freeneville.com. That's right. Join us in Manifesting Mastery. That's if right. You, haven't. you can go to manifestingmasterycourse.com. Yep, that's and right. And if you want a little freebie course, go to easymanifestingmethods.com. Yep. And <clears throat> I think that's about it. Yep. And for the refund, for Ju I think it was Judith and anyone else that want joins late. <laughs> Go to affiliaterealfund.com. This show will be up in a couple hours. Or yep. you can watch it on our personal timeline after we hit the button. Yeah, and type in what was yes. your best bit, what did you learn, and what did you learn about you. That's right. <laughs> that we love, we love to know because, yeah, it yeah. just helps us develop more content. That's right. Cool. We love you guys. Thank you, Julie. Have Thank a you, Virginia. Week Have a lovely time. Everyone. We'll see you in three days. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> 72 hours. That's right. Okay. And we'll be back. <laughs> we'll be back. That's right. Yeah. All right. And you can go to Tom Radio someplace. It doesn't matter. Feelitrealfun.com. That's right. And <laughs> okay. easymanifestingmethods.com, too. Okay. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, my. See you. Okay, let's go find a quarter cup of those things. <laughs> <laughs>